What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with a how to tune your Nitro helicopter. So we are using the Rawl Nitro 580 for this purpose, but this will be the same on all Nitro helicopters for the most part. Engines and sizes will vary and carburetor settings will vary. So on this setup, we have the OS 55 AG non-regulated engine we are running the os power boost pipe now you can see we have three needles here it's a three needle carburetor we have our idle mixture in the middle which is this little guy right here and then we have our mid which is this guy right here and our high needle so we have three needles one two and three now if you're running an os 50 or something like that or maybe an older ys engine you're only going to have your two needles your your idle mixture as well as your high so what is a good base point if you don't know what your needle settings are, you don't know where to start. So your good base point would be to go ahead and just screw your two high, your mid and your high needle, screw them all the way in. So now all your manuals will tell you what a starting position is from closed. So we know on the OS 55 HZ that it is two turns fully from fully closed on both the mid needle and the high. So we're going to go ahead and take our high needle and we're going to turn it all the way in until it stops. It stopped. So now we're going to note the position of our mark here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this. That's a half turn. That's a full turn. So that's one, one and a half, so two. So that is factory setting. Same with the mid. We're going to go ahead and turn that guy all the way in until it stops. And now we're going to note the position of that little cross. We're going to open it up two full turns. That's one half. It's one. So that's one turn. One and a half. Two turns. So now both of our mid and our high needles are completely stock settings. Two turns open from closed. Now your idle mixture screw here is going to be straight up so this one you can see is actually leaned down a little bit so we're going to put this back as well and it didn't take much of a turn that's about straight right there so now what do each one of these needles do so the way that i like to tune engines which we are going to touch on when we get to the field is this is my, what i adjust first i adjust my idle mixture screw so after i'm happy with the the opening of the carburetor we start it up we let it idle i like it let it sit we're going to go over this and then this is what you would adjust and then this is your mid and this is your high so go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get to the field and let's start flying right, the field now we just got the model fueled up so we are running cool power 30 percent helicopter fuel now one thing i did want to touch on is your glow plug so i like to run on the os 55s i like to run n50s the OS number eight plug. So if you don't know if your plug's in good shape, you don't know the condition of your plug, or maybe you ran the engine a little lean, go ahead, start your tuning with throwing a brand new plug in it. So now we are running onboard glow. We have our starter here, our starter one. So we're gonna power the helicopter up and we are gonna go ahead and get it Before started. Before we go ahead and start the engine, we need to make sure our carburetor setting and that we are at an idle. So you can see here, our little notch is right there at an open position. Now this helicopter is already over his ran. So if you don't know, just go ahead and open it up a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead, take our transmitter. Hey. We're gonna flip hold mode. Now our throttle does not work and we can eliminate a hot start issue. So now we're gonna go ahead and unclip our fuel line here. So now we'll see fuel flowing into our carburetor and we're gonna go ahead and just hit the engine with the glow off. <laughs> just to get some fuel. Now that the engine is primed with the glow off, we're gonna go ahead, turn our glow on, and we're going to start it up. Up. So now that's a good, a good 
good idle about right there. So now we're going to let it run like this for a couple seconds and see if it loads up. And then we're going to do a quick blip of the throttle. Now our idle is pretty good, so now we're going to go ahead and set it out and start fuel tuning. Now we've been idling for about four minutes straight right now, and still has not loaded up. If it does load up, you are going to adjust the center screw right here. So you would turn it clockwise to lean it, shut it down. So you would turn this center screw clockwise to lean the mixture and counterclockwise to richen the mixture. Right now, this center screw is perfect. Our idle is perfect. So let's start it back up and let's Remember, get it in. We always want to start rich and tune lean. We don't ever want to start lean and tune rich. So always go rich, then tune it lean. That way you are safe and you don't worry about hurting the engine because a lean engine will hurt it. A rich engine will just make no power and have a lot of smoke. So now we're gonna start with this first high needle. So we're gonna get it started back up. We're gonna get it in the air and we're gonna go up to high head speed, 100% throttle, which is 2200 RPM on this model. And we are going to adjust our high speed first. Then we're gonna mess with our mid speed, then go back to our high speed. So let's go fly. Okay, so what we are looking for is the smoke trail off of the exhaust. We wanna see a steady trail. Now, right now it's gonna be super rich. It's gonna smoke a lot. That's okay. So let's go ahead, get it up into a hover. We're gonna go to 100% throttle and we're gonna do some punch outs up and down. And that's what we're gonna find on that, tra on that smoke trail. Now we're going to adjust the needle three clicks at a time. Okay, you can do two, but I like to go three. So let's go ahead and spool up. We can see it's super rich. Right now we're on the, on the mid needle. We're not even on the high needle. Super rich. Now watch that climb out. No power. Smoke is ridiculously heavy. Okay, climb out. No power. Smoke's getting thicker. So we are rich. So let's go ahead and set it down. All right, so now we're going to come up to our high speed needle here. And we are in hold mode, we're back to an idle. So now we're gonna come down to this high speed needle. We're gonna go three clicks. So one, two, three. All right, spool it back up. Look for the smoke trail again. All right, mid is super rich, that's okay. High head speed. A little bit better on power, still a lot of smoke. Now we want the engine to get warmed up, so do a couple pulls. Load it up. Super rich. All right, so now we're gonna go a couple clicks leaner. That mid is super rich too. So we know now we are still a little bit rich on the high side, but it's pretty close, but it's still a little rich. So now we're gonna go two clicks. One, two, and we're gonna feel our engine. I can keep my finger on it, I'm not burning myself. Also, another way to know is if the engine is surging. So if you're too lean, when you put it in throttle hold, you'll hear the engine as it comes down. That is too lean, riching it up. So now we went two clicks leaner on the high end. We're gonna spool back up. Okay. High head speed. Smoke trail's pretty consistent. Still thick on the mid. It's, it's pretty close. Pulling, pulling, still getting thicker. So let's go ahead, set it down. Our mid right now, we're on the mid needle and it's just billowing smoke. So that right there is telling us that our mid 
is too rich, but let's finish the high. So we're gonna go ahead. Now we're listening for that surge. We don't hear no idle surging. So we're, we're right there. So we're gonna go one click this time. Okay, so one click. And we're gonna feel the back plate. Still feels good. So now we're gonna do another pull. And if I'm happy with that high speed, then we're gonna start on the mid range. And now you notice our idle is still perfect. Smoke staying consistent. Consistent. It billows a bunch at mid, that's okay. But our high. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So now, we're gonna look at the mid range now. So we're, we're gonna go full positive, but then when we get to the top, we're gonna go neutral. So watch the smoke. See it puff out a bunch of smoke, okay? Puffs out a bunch of smoke. We're gonna go positive, neutral stick, puffs out a bunch of smoke. So now we're gonna come back in and we're gonna start adjusting that mid-range needle. No surging on the high, so we're still, we're, the high side is perfect within a click or two. I'm gonna leave it, I'm happy with that, but that's where I like it. So now we're gonna come down to the mid-needle, which is this needle right here. Three clicks, one, two, three. Three clicks, same thing, but this time what we're doing is as the helicopter comes up, we're going full positive, and then we're coming to neutral, mid stick, and it's unloading all that fuel. You see it spitting out a bunch of smoke. That's too rich. So right now when you're flying and you're hard on that collective, you are in the high speed needle range. When you are in that mid stick part of your collective, like in TikToks or anything like that, you're on the mid part of the needle. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the mid now. So we went three clicks leaner on the mid. Same thing, high head speed. We can already see not so much smoke. Positive, mid stick. Let's see that puff come out. All right, positive, mid stick. Puffed out a bunch of smoke. So we're gonna go three clicks leaner. And then you really notice it. All right, so three clicks leaner. It's still there, but it's still puffing out. Okay, so, one, two, three. All right, our double-sided tape came loose, that's okay. We can fix that. All right, so now we're three clicks leaner on the mid. We're gonna do the same thing. High head speed. Go ahead and put that canopy on. I went ahead and just put the canopy back on because that power wire double-sided tape, I didn't want it to hit the rotor. All right. High head speed. Our smoke is looking pretty good, a little thick, positive. Helicopters is pulling, pulling. Mid stick, it didn't spit out a bunch of smoke. Mid stick, little bit of smoke.
All right, so let's lean it down a little more. We got a lot of smoke. So that mid stick, you hear the helicopter bogging down a little bit and we got a lot of smoke. So we're gonna go ahead, lean it down a little bit more. We're gonna go two clicks this time. We're gonna feel the engine. I can still keep my finger on that back plate so we're not too hot. If you're really worried about it, you can use a temperature gun, like an infrared temperature gun. I can feel it and it feels good. Spool it back up. Mid high head speed. Now we're gonna just do some hurricanes just to load it, heat it up. So that smoke trail is about normal. That mid-range feels good. Helicopter's got good power. Engine's running fantastic. So after, now we got it nice and warm. Smoke is continuous. So I'm happy with that. Now, tuning can take as long or as quick as possible. What this is going to do is just give you So I just went ahead and shut it down. So what this is going to do is just give you a base, a perfect way to start and get the actual helicopter tuned to where it's right there. Now me personally, I like to run helicopters on the richer side. I don't like to run them where it they're balls out power super lean i like my engines to last and i like my helicopters to be on the rich side so i hope this video helps some of you guys asking about tuning your engines this is just the way i tune it i'm sure there's a bunch of different ways to do it there's no really right or wrong way as long as you're not tuned lean and you can keep your engine your finger on that back plate it's not hot the engine is the perfect temperature it's running great it's performing good it's got good power throughout all of the cyclic range and throttle range that's just how i do it so i hope this helps some of you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button take care and have a great day